Hi there, wonderful awakening beings and spiritual souls. Joe Rose of JoeRose.com, numerologist and energy forecaster. In this video, I'm sharing with you expression number five. Some numerologists refer to this as the destiny number. I call it the expression number. They're the same thing. The expression number highlights the skills and traits that we have brought with us in this lifetime. To understand how to calculate the expression number, I've created a video on this, so do go and check the link in the description below. The skills of the five are multi-talented or multi-tasked. Five is in the middle of the numbers one to nine. Look at your hand, the five fingers, it's a star. There's all these threads of connections. You're great at networking, connecting and communicating. The five is intellectual, outspoken. It's highly important to the five that they have freedom, free will, freedom of choice, freedom of speech, freedom to choose. It's also very passionate and highly sensual. Life for the five can be confusing or restricting, so you move on either out of boredom or escapism. You're easily bored, so you're constantly searching for variety. The five is inquisitive, resourceful and curious, often seen as the freedom-loving adventurer. This is the Indiana Jones, the wherever I lay my hat, that's my home number. You're often up for most things. That will be a wide variety of people, places, things and experiences. Now, you don't have to experience everything in life. Let me tell you that. Take no, I'll come back to that probably. The strengths of the five are your resourceful, courageous, enthusiastic, progressive, magnetic, multi-talented or multitask, and resilient. There's always a flip side and the flip side is you can appear and often are unreliable, commitment challenged, restless, inconsistent. You do tend to exaggerate. You're a great storyteller. You live these experiences, you feel the moments and you want to tell them. Uh, you're prone to addictions or addictive addictions and behaviours. Unconventional risk takers and you get high on adrenaline. Um, you're constantly seeking the highs but remember lows always follow and this is where you need to slow back, enjoy the moment and don't keep seeking one after the other. Really feel what it is that you've experienced. The five is the number of drama. So you can be very dramatic in more ways than once. Your life could be a drama series or you can just be over dramatic, drama king, drama queen, etc. Now, as a child, you were most likely imaginative. You probably had a string of imaginary friends in some way, shape or form. They could be animals, monsters, aliens or even beings. Highly creative, very active and into all sorts. You yearned experiences and you still do. The fives add a knack. They're great talkers, charmers and connectors. You probably would find yourself in trouble but manage to talk yourself out of it just like that. Highly fidgetable and not happy with instructions and routine. Classed as mischief makers or resourceful helpers. Anything to get out of probably what it is that you didn't want to do. You were eager and enthusiastic. Clever and inventive. Highly adaptable. You did encourage rule breaking. Whether it was you doing it yourself or somehow coercing other people to do it. And the chances are if anybody was going to get in trouble, it was them and not you. You're a questioner, promoter, a salesperson. You're a risk taker and love travel. It's that need, that search, that variety that you're constantly looking for. You're an alternative thinker and action taker. And um, you're non-compliant if you're bored, smart if you're connected. So you really need to be connected in what you're doing, otherwise you're gonna be jack of all trades and master of very few. As teenagers, the chances are that you probably missed some school or lessons. Perhaps doing homework was a challenge and not always in, but somehow you managed to wangle your way through and get just what you needed to move to the next stage. 
If your parent was highly connected, it would have seen your needs and whether it came from school or outside, they would have created activities that lit you up or allowed you to use your imagination or your um, constant need for experiences. But when you found your interests, you could excel, but if you didn't, chances are you're a little bit lost. When you're interested, you can be highly competitive, but if you're not, <laughs> can't even move you off the sofa. Um, you're not a planner and you want to be in charge of your own schedule. This can have you appear as irresponsible and self-indulgent. You require mental and physical freedom. You need the, the freedom you need the freedom to choose. It's always about freedom for the five. So the freedom to choose. So your careers will need to have a lot of variety, daily, weekly, monthly change, whether that be um, projects, people, location. You just need this to stimulate you and have a way of showing your talents and understanding of yourself and others. You're a problem solver and not necessarily that you get in and solve it, whereas the four will probably pull something apart. No, you know a man who can. You know the man with the dog, the spanner or the woman with the, the connections. Whatever it is, you certainly have got a Rolodex that most people would um, crave. There's a uniqueness about you and that's the fact that you you need constant change and that could be your dress. Maybe you're constantly out there buying different outfits, different clothes. You want to look right for whatever it is that you're doing because whatever it is, you dress up for the moment and then you get to be it more. Less of an actor as in an, a, a movie star, you're more of a theatrical actor. Variety of foods, experiences, and dress. So this all could cost you a lot of money. And looking at careers, you may tend to chase the, the money over doing a job you love, hence why you change your job many times. You can find opportunities and create wealth from this. You are the sort of person that is spontaneous spontaneous, and will just jump or dive in. When you're in there, because you may not have thought about it beforehand, you'll go, it's going to work, it's not. And if it's going to work, you're going to go with it. And if it's not, you're just going to leave it. And this is the same with your relationships, personal and professional. You don't look back at the mess you sometimes leave. Over your lifetime, you will learn to see this. The five tends to settle down the older they get. So in the beginning, you're constantly looking for that high, that adrenaline rush. But remember, there's many lows after those highs. Your need for money, which is why you often take a, uh, a job that pays the money, it's not the interest, it's because you've got a way of life that is quite expensive. My suggestion here is do a job that meets this criteria so that you don't necessarily need to earn the money to do it as a hobby. Yes, a five can settle down in certain jobs, providing it gives you enough highs and variety to do so. I'm going to go through shortly a very vast selection of careers that a five will tend to look at. A five loves a challenge. It loves connecting with people and different jobs. Um, my recommendation is you find something that you love and excel in that as opposed to keep changing. Many fives say, I don't know what it is I want to do. Yes, start by testing them. But when you know your numbers, your numerology, it will really help you um, save so much time in these other experiences that you will do. The five does not like to be shut up in an office, doesn't really like to work alone. Now, there can be some conflict with this if you've got a seven or a two perhaps in your core numbers because this slows down and takes the edge off the five. The five learns by mistakes. Remember, there are no mistakes in life. Uh, sorry, there are no failures in life just lessons. The five appears to go, oh, I keep repeating this. Uh, when you're ready to not repeat this, then you'll look at it differently. You'll find the lesson in it. When you can actually spend some time grounding yourself, and if you don't have a four number in your numbers, then use the four energies when they come up in the years, months, and days to do this. It's very important. Or just get a grounding sheet on your bed so that when you go to sleep, you're at least going to ground yourself because you do need to ground yourself as a five. Let me take a look at some of the careers that a five does. The five can have a varied spectrum of careers. You could be anything from law and parliament 
to um, a beachcomber or a surfer is that vast. So let's take a quick look at some careers. I've got a list here. So most things in Parliament, well, anything where you're out there connecting, talking, you do like the sound of your own voice, a uh, civil servant or politics, law, law lawyer, detective, um, secret services, MI5 investigator, a writer, editor, publishing, lecturer, public speaker, like it's back to the voice, isn't it? When I say actor, I've already mentioned this, it's more theatrical acting as opposed to reading the script. That's too boring. You've got to be your own. You want to really get into your character. Great at entertaining. Chances are it could be circus or as a stunt person. Reporters, presenters and journalists. And I don't mean those are di dictated to of what they've got to say. I mean really getting out there and investigating, really Sherlock Holmes and having a look at what's going on. You're great at promotion or as a promoter, communications, media or photojournalism. Theatre manager, theatre producers, anything there to do with the production of a play. Anything with travel, travel agent, travel um, a hotel, hospitality, anything with people and experiences, whitewater rafting, amusement parks, anything that's got that adrenaline buzz going on. Also, we travel great at a sales, uh, traveling salesperson, but then you're great at any form of sales, whether it be a car dealer, in real estate, or selling beauty, makeup, etc. The five can be great scientific inventors, something in mining or engineering, also in the design of any of these. Um, I've mentioned travel, booking agents, um, holiday entertainment, tour, tour guides, reps, pilots, cabin crew, uh, cruise directors even. See, it's such an exciting variety of things. The, um, the entertainment at the hotels. Social and event planning, hospitality. You want to be involved in it, but you're not the key pin of it because that would be too detailed. Advertising, marketing, sales, consultancy, something like a chef or a waiter, bar, um, cocktail maker, etc. A flip again here, teacher, therapist, hairstylist, beauty, cosmetics, any anything in that field. A personal trainer, receptionist, anything with people or adventure, public relations, psychologists, insurance claims, uh, adjuster, you know, there you go, you get out again, you can um, make your day your own. Anything in transport, whether that be um, sailor, merchant navy, explorer, anything in a car, plane, train, chauffeur, long distance lorry driver, limo driver, a bus driver, um, vibes, Anything in the professional gambling industry, bookie casino, you could also actually be doing this as well because it's a very addictive number. So maybe be on the uh, the job career side as opposed to the side where you're losing all your money. You could be in stocks and bonds, an entrepreneur, a beach coma or a surfer. Chances are you might even just be putting the deck chairs out. You'll do anything where you get to be in charge of your own day and connect with people constantly. Does this make sense? Is this you? Is this your five energy? Do you understand now why you need so much variety, whether it be in your relationships or your career? You certainly do need this. To really get deep and understand more how all the numbers come together, because I've mentioned that you may not be this vibrant five if you've got a um, karma number like a seven or a two in there so it depends on what numbers that you've got going on and to understand more i do offer reasons consultations and mentorships i love the mentorship because we get to work together for 12 months piecing you together and using the energy of the current period of time i have got various video series and to tie up this expression number with your life path number can help you excel faster in your career but in your soul's personal growth.
So it's great to understand how these numbers work together. Another important number would be your heart's desire. I will create a video series on this in due course, but this is where your motivation and passion comes into it. Just getting all these numbers together will help you find and do what you love because it's your life. As I keep saying, L-Y-F-E, love yourself first every day. When you do this, you get to do what you love and love what you do. I also have a series which is the uh, personal year series. Could you imagine being in the right place at the right time? Well, use the personal year series to line it up to your career or your relationships. And again, I'm going to leave all the links below. If you're interested in finding out more, do message me. My website's a little bit of a mess at the moment. It may not be by the time you watch this video, um, but find a way, leave a comment below and we'll find a way to get in touch if you want to learn and understand more. As a five, I've mentioned you are the connector, that you are the thread between everything. Perhaps look at all of these expression numbers and it will help you understand those around you. And perhaps you could create a business by just connecting people and get a commission or something from it. If that's not your choice, maybe look at what your partners, families and friends are. Introduce them to this because I'd love to help raise the vibration on planet Earth to get people to do what they love and love what they do because when we do that, we move away from fear through courage and up in love. We get to live the life we were born to live. We get to experience fulfillment and enjoyment more often than not. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, please do push that bell for further notifications. Like I say, um, I've got other series coming and every month there is a forecast video. So really you want to learn how to use the energy of the universe as well as the energy of your own. I love your comments. I will get back to them. So please do leave any comments. And if you've got challenge working out any of these numbers, and you visited that video or you just want to ask me to confirm it, then please, again, just drop me a comment. I love to connect. I love to know you're out there. Um, it just makes my day bigger, bolder, brighter and better. So that's me for now. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Take care. And remember, it's your life, spelled L-Y-F-E. Love yourself first every day. Thank you for watching.